Hello, my name is Jake Bloom. I'm a Principal Solutions Architect on the Oracle Cloud Networking Team. This video will discuss the upgrade process for the Dynamic Routing Gateway. Topics covered in this video include the DRG enhancements, a console walkthrough of the upgrade process, frequently asked questions for the upgrade, as well as references to look at after this video. One crucial enhancement to the upgraded DRG is the ability to centralize routing through the DRG. As you can see in the diagram, there are three VCNs attached directly to the dynamic routing gateway. In previous architectures, a VCN would be attached to another VCN through an LPG, as opposed to being directly connected through the DRG. Another enhancement is advanced routing scenarios for the DRG. After the upgrade, you can take advantage of advanced routing scenarios, such as hub spoke VCNs, as shown in the diagram on the right-hand side. This will allow for an insertion of a next generation firewall. Now that you've seen some of the enhancements for the DRG, we will walk through the upgrade process in the console. Let's go ahead and initiate an upgrade on a DRG. From here, we will be going to the networking section and going to customer connectivity where our DRGs will live. Once we've gone to our dynamic routing gateways, we'll select the compartment where the DRG lives and then click on the DRG that we plan on doing the upgrade for. On the upper portion of the console, you'll see a banner that says Upgrade DRG and give you a quick summary of what the upgrade process looks like. We will go through the upgrade process after we have done pre-flight checks and made sure that our DRG has redundant connections and that everything looks healthy. The first check is to make sure that the Oracle redundancy status is green. You can see that over where the green check mark is and says redundant. In this example, everything is healthy. The other option is that it would show that it's non-redundant. It is recommended to fix that redundancy before continuing on with the upgrade. Otherwise, your outage may be longer than what we display within this video. Let's move on to the virtual circuits. Two virtual circuits means that the connection is redundant. An additional recommended step is to go onto the peer router and verify that the routes advertised and received are the same on both of these circuits. We'll move on to the remote peering connection. In this example, I have the Toronto region that is connected via an RPC. Now that we've done our pre-flight checks, we'll go ahead and click upgrade on the DRG and then click upgrade DRG. If you follow the virtual circuit screen, you'll notice that the fast connects will change into a provisioning status during the upgrade. Now that the upgrade is complete, let's take a look at the results. I have 331 packets transmitted and 325 received. So you could say that we had about a six second outage for the fast connects. If we look at the remote peering connection, you can see that I've sent 350 with 0% loss. And if we stop the ping, then I did not receive any loss over the remote peering connection. I will quickly display some frequently asked questions regarding the upgrade process that may not have been answered in this video. If you have any questions, feel free to pause now and take a look at the additional questions that are common during the upgrade process. Additionally, there's other resources that you can take a look at outside of this video. I've lined up some of my favorite resources for the upgrade process. Don't forget to take a look at the DRG Architecture Migration blog post, which shows the transition from LPGs to DRG attachments. Also, don't forget to take a look at the DRGB2 routing scenarios blog post that discusses different routing scenarios that can be accomplished now that you've upgraded your DRG. Thank you for watching. I hope that you found this video on upgrading the DRG insightful.